practicing. Practice without the pump attached to it. Um, I know there's a lot of people that give advice to like flange like this. So they align the top part of the opening of the flange, pretend this is a breast, with like the top of your nipple and then come down. I like to go the opposite way. So I would align the bottom of the opening with the bottom of your nipple and come up. To me, that was the best. And also, like, try to memorize where you place the flange. I know it seems crazy, but that's what I would do. Um, another thing I would do if you haven't gotten the latch perfectly is that the pump manufacturers will recommend that if after five minutes you don't come out of what they call, um, what is that called? Oh my gosh. If you don't go into expression mode immediately, the pump the pump manufacturer recommends that only five minutes go by um, should should only go by until you go into expression mode because the pump automatically senses like your letdown and it will go immediately into like your expression mode. If you don't go into expression mode within five minutes, then you need to take it off and relatch. That's the recommendation. For me, I would, I knew myself and I was like, I usually have a letdown within the first like two minutes, two to three minutes. So if I didn't go into expression mode within that time frame, I would take it off and relatch again. And then usually like I was right. I, I immediately like went into expression mode a minute after or so. So just kind of like start to learn how your body reacts with Willow and you'll, you'll love it like just as much as I did. And that was the pump that I used to like uh, pump for the whole time that I was breastfeeding so um, you know you can take that with a grain of salt but you're here to watch this review so um, before I learned how to latch and I was having a lot of pain I thought that I had a um, too big of a size so I bought 24s that's what I used when I had my spectra so I don't know why I would think that so I tried to use these uh, Flange reducers that are actually made for the freebie, so they just fit like right in there, and they're to like basically reduce the flange size to a size that's appropriate for you, and they come in different sizes. So this is like hard. I bought it off of Amazon. They're called. They're made by a brand called Maymom. It's like I actually don't know where they're from, but yeah, I bought them, and I was like super desperate. Like I got the 22 millimeter going into a 24 mill millimeter. And you put it in there, but it doesn't fit like quite perfectly. Some of it like still sticks out. So that's what I would use. Um, I was only getting like 0.2 ounces and I was super frustrated. I was getting a lot of air in my bag and I thought, man, like the pump just doesn't fit right. Like my nipple would be really sore and like would turn to color. So I was like, I don't think this is the right place for me. So I started using this. This helped a little bit. I would get like one ounce this time, let's say, and it would be still pretty painful even if i use like the nipple balm it would still be painful so i stopped using this and i bought these these are called amida flexi shields and this is what they look like and they're made out of soft silicone somebody online in one of my facebook breastfeeding chats actually recommended this and it's made for like normal flanges and it's supposed to like massage your breast as you're pumping to help increase your output. So if you're interested in that, you should buy these and check it out. They're actually pretty nice. And I just like put it in there and it's softer, it's smaller, but it still didn't help completely. Like I would get more output, but it was not helping. Like sometimes the latch wouldn't be right still. I would still get a lot of air. It was super annoying. And it's like another part to clean. So. It's up to you if you want to. My baby is playing games with me. Um, it's up to you if you want to try that. So there you go. There is these new ones. They're called like Bojens. That is like a mixture. It's the best of both worlds. So it's they look like this, but I think they're made out of like soft material like this. So if you want to, if you have nipples that require a flange size smaller than 24 millimeter. I would look into those and I'll link them down below. I heard that they run specials like during holidays and stuff. I personally never use them, but I've heard of a lot of people have success with them. So you can try those out if you want. I'm not sure how much they cost, but again, I'll link them down below and you can check them out. Um, let's see, I used the Willow for probably like seven to eight months. 
and I haven't used it for two months now. Um, so the bag, you can uh, reuse them actually, and this is like a hack that I found out about um, by one of the Facebook groups that exists for Willow, and I'll link it down below if you're interested and you have a Facebook, but there's these holes in here and you use like a Starbucks stirrer or anything pointy and small enough to fit in these tiny holes. And it has like a little circle in the background that you push through and then you turn the bag around while as you're pushing and then the milk will come out and you can empty it and put it in the refrigerator for the rest of the day kind of like you do with your other parts. So you can reuse the bags as well. The bags cost um, quite a lot of money actually. So reusing them is very economical for you. So one bag like one uh, unit of these bags, so like how, they, how they're sold, comes with 24 bags. So that's 12 times that you can pump, right? And it costs $11.99 for that 24 pack. So it's pretty expensive. And especially it gets expensive if you pump more than four ounces uh, per breast. So, you know, that's up to you. Um, is it difficult to switch out in the middle of the pump whenever your bag fills up? I don't think so. I don't think anybody else complains about that. It seems kind of cumbersome, but it's really not that bad. So it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, um, I don't think it's that bad. So um, what I would do with the bags though, since I didn't know about the trick, I would just order them in bulk because I think you get free shipping when you... Um, purchases over $70 so I just order like a big stash. I actually have some milk bags left so if you live in the Houston area send me a message and I can sell them to you for a discount. I actually need to do that. And they have like this cute little um, calculator on here that actually tells you like calculate how much you'll need. Interesting. There wasn't that when I had it. So onto the app. Um, you download it, it's only compatible with Apple, and you get to put a picture of like your baby or whatever you want in the background that inspires you to pump more. And it'll tell you how much you pumped, which is great, and it's pretty accurate, and it'll tell you how much you pumped on your left or your right. The last time you pumped, um, it'll illuminate blue or green on either side to tell you which um, pump is active. It doesn't make sense because my pump is not on and it's not charged. Um, so sorry about that, but you can adjust your suction. It has eight levels of suction and I used to use around seven or eight. So it is possible and it didn't hurt after a while. Like I didn't have to use the nipple bomb. I would just like go straight there. So that was really convenient. It tracks all of the sessions that you've ever pumped ever, which is great. So you can like kind of trend to see like if your output has gone up or down, it would be useful. I'd see like my output went down one morning be like why and then I realized like I didn't drink enough water or I didn't eat breakfast that day there's a link to the store on the website um, so the tabs are home history store and then there's videos the blue ones are like the first videos that came out and they go for general like how to how to latch and stuff like that so I would strongly recommend to watch those I'm one of those people that doesn't read instructions before using and it really screwed me over this time with my three week learning curve. So watch these and it's gonna be great. And then you have settings. So you need to have Bluetooth enabled to be to be able to use it. Um, if your pump goes wonky one day, there's like the power inlet right there. That's where you put the power or the, the charger in. On the bottom, there's like this little um, hole and you just like put a toothpick in there or something like a paper clip that I would use to reset the pump if they start acting wonky, which I know that happens to a lot of people, like if the reading is off or something. The other like con I wouldn't, that it takes some getting used to is the flip to finish, which is how all of the milk goes inside of the bag after you're done pumping. So you remove the pump. You gotta make sure it doesn't spill because it doesn't like suck all the milk in after you're done. And you turn it towards you like so. So you're gonna have this little blue thing facing you and you hold it in your hands and then you start flipping it very slowly and you'll see the milk inside of the flange like start disappearing there it'll start like sucking in there so you got to look at it and you got to make sure that there's no milk left in there and it starts making like this noise and you turn it completely around and then you're done and 
if, if they recommend that if you're doing this for the first time, like get a plate or something, so you, you can catch the milk that is that gets spilled. And then what I would do is I would remove it very slowly. And sometimes when all the milk wouldn't go in the bag, there would be some milk left over, like right here in the flex tube. So I would just like take a peek before I completely removed it. And if there was still left in there, you just press the play button and you start all over again and get like the residual milk. So I would just do that out of caution at the end. Like I was just used to it. That's what I would do. I wouldn't even look to see because I already knew there was going to be leftovers and I would just push the play button and do it because it automatically stops once you've like flipped it completely. You just remove the bag and you're good to go. So to carry the pump around, I purchased the Sarah, one of the Sarah Wells bag. It's black. Um, I'll link it down below. They're kind of pricey, but it was worth it for me because I was going to work and it has like a laptop sleeve. It has a lot of space for like my, uh, my charger, my laptop charger, all the bags. I had all kinds of crap in there. So like snacks and stuff, water. So it was worth it for me. And I, I liked it, that it was a backpack. Um, because I don't like carrying like an actual bag around, but that's just personal preference for you. Um, so the app is kind of finicky sometimes, but it's gotten a lot better over time. Um, let's see. I think that kind of covers it. So if you guys have any more questions, um, ask them down below, or if you want me to do like an additional video to like respond. For the questions or if you have any more um interest about all the other pumps that i used or just like asking about how i pumped at work or something like that just ask below um and thanks for watching bye